Hey guys, welcome to something a little bit different. Today I'm going to be playing Don't Starve. This is a game that's uh, been really highly regarded by a lot of people, including myself, but I decided not to play it earlier because I felt like I sort of played the game out without actually recording it. Um, so I waited and then... Uh, um, oh, wait. Old method safer, okay. So I was not reading what was going on there. But anyway, we're going to generate a new world here and get started. So Don't Starve, if you're not familiar with it, is a um, it's like it's a little tiny bit like a Minecraft like in that it just drops you into a sandbox world and you can do whatever you want. Um, this guy says that we're not looking so great. He's like uh, he's just some sort of random like introductory character, but he's gonna tell us the goal of the game, which is don't starve, find some stuff to eat, and that is all the instruction the game gives you. And now we are set forth into this beautifully drawn like. Tim Burton-esque landscape where we must pick up some materials and use them to not die. So most important thing for the first day here is that we just need to find the materials to make some tools, which is twigs and flint, so that we can cut down some trees and uh, make a fire at night, because if you don't have a fire at night, you die. And the other thing we need to do is find enough food to not die, because obviously that's another way to die, is to run out of food. And throughout all of this, we also need to be careful not to piss off uh, any uh, strong enemies that will kill us, because that is obviously another way to die. But beyond that, uh, there aren't really any gold... God, I've been playing so much Dota, I'm trying to like move the camera with my mouse to see what's going on over there. Um, but anyway, that's obviously not how this works. You can also move around with uh, WASD, but uh, I often just move by clicking, probably because I've been playing a lot of Dota again, because obviously that's how things are done in that game. But we're grabbing twigs, we're grabbing carrots and berries, we're grabbing flint, and obviously grass is also important for fires. And pretty soon, either we're going to find some rocks before like noon, and you can see on the the clock here, how long that's going to be. Noon is like diagonal. Uh, and hopefully we find a bunch of rocks before noon, and if that's the case, I'll make a pickaxe, because that will allow us to get a, sort of a renewable source of flint and have a lot of flint to make a lot of tools. But otherwise, I'll just make an axe right off the bat so that we can start cutting some wood so that we are not going to accidentally die when the night starts. Though I think this is enough flint where I can pretty much, why not have both? So I'll make an axe now because that's going to allow me to start hunting rabbits as we go here, which obviously are a good source of protein for our burgeoning little hero here. Not really a hero, that's, that's the nice thing about this game. There's no pressure here, I'm not a hero. Just a dude trying to get enough food to stay alive. So the reason I was, I was talking about this and then I like got distracted by the world generation, but the reason I'm playing Don't Starve now as opposed to, you know, back when... I was uh, first like doing the first look of it all those months ago is uh, partly because I don't know anything about the game again like I played way too much of it before the first look I was sick and I couldn't make any videos and I just I was like man this is an awesome game and I played it until I basically won quote unquote because of course there's no way to really win but I went through my entire research tree and we'll see research later on but you can see these locked artifacts here and uh, by gaining research points we can uh, get toward getting those. You know what? I'm actually going to create a shovel here because it's a good idea to start grabbing these things. But yeah, like I said, there have been a lot of changes to the way the game works. Oops, I did not mean to do that. I don't think that does anything, so we're going to leave that there. Um, yeah, we're going to dig up some berry bushes. Pretty much just berry bushes now because obviously I'm pretty low on... Uh, Uh, inventory space. So I'm gonna take that off. Put this back on. I like to keep my tools over here, so let's start doing that. And uh, pretty soon, let's see, can I make a backpack? Is that something that's new since the last time I pay played? But uh, wow, that is super good. Okay, it used to be you could like open up your inventory and you had more space down here, but the backpack is more space than that used to be. So we're gonna carry some berry bushes in there. Some, oops. Uh, some Pine cones, just the stuff we don't need instant access to, we'll just stick in there. Pick up some flint, pick up some flowers, and just, like I said, continue trying to stock up on as much stuff as we can. You can see my hunger meter starting to go down, but we're going to wait to eat until we can set up a little homestead and cook some food while we're waiting for the sun to come back up. 
But yeah, so there are a lot of things in this game that I don't understand anymore, is what I was intending to say there, and <laughs> saying it in a really roundabout way. I've I've been out of the, the don't starve loop for a while now, and uh, that'll, I think, make for a much more interesting Let's Play than basically, like, Green teaches you how to play don't starve. Obviously, I know what I'm doing in the beginning here, but really, like, I pretty much did the first time I played as well. It's not very complicated. Pick up a bunch of shit. And why are these flowers not auto-stacking into my backpack? I don't like that at all. I'm gonna keep these here so that I can keep on picking them. Uh, I would have liked to get that rabbit, but unfortunately too late. We're going to actually wait until right at the very last moment to build the fire, because that way you don't actually have to add any wood to the fire, or at least you didn't last time I played. But also, while we're sitting at night, I'll also craft some useful trinkets as well, and one of those things is going to be a torch, which will allow me to survive even if I don't have a fire up. So if, I, if I'm if i in a disastrous situation at night, I can just pull out my torch and not immediately die. Well, not immediately die, but not uh, suffer death when the sun goes down. So I'm just picking as many things as I can before the sun goes down. But I should have... Yes, I do have the materials for a campfire. So as soon as that this thing reaches the blue part of the day meter, I'll just put down a fire and wait the night out. I'll try to put it down near a tree, but not next to a tree, because that'll burn the tree down. But here's some trees, so now I can do, get some chopping done while we wait. So here comes the darkness, and now we will build the fire, and now we'll chop some trees. And that fire should, if nothing has changed, last us just barely throughout the night. But if not, putting one more log on it is not a big deal. So we'll chop down these trees before the radius of the fire gets too low to uh, come all the way out here. And then after that we'll do some cooking and whatnot. And then tomorrow, uh, top priority tomorrow is to find some rocks and uh, use them. So we're gonna cook our food and eat it so that we do not die of starvation. Basically just cook everything we have and that way you know, whatever I get hungry, I can just have some cooked food at the ready. Yeah, and by far we're going to make it through the night, no problem here. And probably we're good for tomorrow as well. I've never found that actually not starving is a big, like, problem in this game. I want to, like... There we go. <laughs> Fix the uh, environmental disaster I called the cause there earlier. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and eat until we're full. There we go, and let's think about what we should build. So I should definitely be carrying around a torch just in case this fire goes out unexpectedly. I can just equip that quickly by right-clicking on it, and that will mitigate any disasters I might otherwise cause by accident. Let's keep some stuff in the backpack. It sucks that you have to manually put stuff in the backpack. I wish stuff would auto stack there, but that's okay. Um, I might as well, yeah, just keep all my materials in there as well, actually. And that way I can be ready to pick things up whenever I need to. And I'll keep the food out here, I guess. I don't know. Actually, I should keep the food in there for sure, because that's not going to stack with anything I pick up. Um, so I'll pick up this pine cone. Oh, yes, I should also dig up these stumps, because... That will give us a few more logs, and logs are important. So as you can see, the campfire went out right as exactly as it should. Huh. That's weird. I've, back when I played, there didn't used to be a little like campfire thing remaining there, and I was wondering if I could possibly get charcoal out of there, but not the case. Okay, so today's goal is very important. We're going to try to, try to find some rocks, uh, both because that's going to give us... Oh, oops, not what I meant to do. Uh, rocks are going to give us... Uh, flint, which is a source for more tools, which is always important. And rocks are also going to be a source of um, gold for us, which we can use to create a science machine, which is going to start letting us unlock some of those... Uh... I should just start picking these as well. With the backpack, I have plenty of room. I might as well just... Oops, that was a mistake. You guys just saw like my Don't Starve sol uh, folder where I was just uh, deleting my old save file so I could start with zero science. 
but that's okay. Nothing really exciting in there. I think that's what you saw anyway. It's whatever's underneath this window. I have a lot of windows open at all times. I'm a, a slovenly man when it comes to computers. Alright, so now I am starting to fill up on shit, but a lot of that is like double stacks. So you can just... Move shit over. This is stupid. I don't like the backpack at all. Uh, I mean, I like the backpack. I like that I have more inventory space. I don't like that it's not auto stock. It's not yeah, stacking over there. I think that would be a good convenience thing for the game to do. But that's okay. We can deal with it. Just have to constantly be on the look for it. But if you wonder why I'm digging digging up all these saplings and shit, uh, two reasons. One, we can plant them near our house to have an infinite supply of whatever those things grow. But two, uh, we can feed them to the science machine for a pretty substantial amount of science each, and we're going to want to do a lot of that. Definitely, I should be digging up grass as well, because that's so common. Um, so, yes. But I'm going to actually stop doing this right after I dig up these last two pieces of grass, and we're going to really in earnest try to get to some rocks, because that really is important. Otherwise, we're going to waste a lot of time not getting science. Well, I mean, I guess it doesn't matter that much. I can just save up science stuff. I can't can't deny the berries, though. The berries are really important. We can have a berry farm at our house, essentially. Let's also kill this guy. Oh! Why didn't I kill him? Walked right through him. Uh, but anyway, we can have a berry farm at our house, basically, that allows us to... Oh, there's some spiders who I don't really want to fuck with right now. Oh, this might be a good place to set up camp, actually. Oh shovel broke, so I'll equip my axe. Kill that rabbit. So yeah, I want to make, definitely think about coming back to that area, because there's a lot of grass and rabbits, and that's always a place where I like to set up my base, because rabbits, especially later on, become very important. You might think they're important now because of food, but later on you can trade them for gold, which is really important, because gold is a non-renewable resource and don't starve. So we're going to make a pickaxe. We're out of room, so let's just... Do some quick stacky. Oh, our berry stack is full. Alright. Um, let's also just eat some carrots. Free up some inventory space. Put some. Let's see, stack. And now we can mine this rock. And it should produce. Yep, there's some gold. There's some flint. There's some rocks. All of which are essential for the kind of work that we're going to be doing here. The rocks are great because uh, hopefully we can get enough rocks today actually also to build a uh, fire pit which allows us to make fire much more cheaply. That way we can get through the night with only uh, two... God, I should really dig these up. Damn it. Ah, I can't carry it. Okay. Hang on. Inventory management is always kind of a problem in this game until you gain... Oops. Uh, until you gain... what am I talking about? Oh, chests! Which is probably one of the first things I'm going to rush in research, because being able to hold on to stuff and not have to carry it around with you is actually a huge time saver. So we'll do that. I do want this... Uh, rotate the camera quickly to get that, but I try to always keep the camera rotated the same way, because otherwise I get hopelessly lost. There should be some more rocks around here, I'm thinking. If not, that's really disappointing. Oh man, that is... Super disappointing. Okay, we might have to go one more without making a fire pit. Yeah, we need 12 rocks. That's a lot. It's probably at least another two boulders that we have to mine for that. Um, so that sucks. We're going to waste some more, but it doesn't really matter. Like, we're saving a log and a few grass, I think, by using the fire pit. It adds up in the long run, for sure, but... You know, in the in the short term, it's not a big deal. So I was gonna say. Oh god, spiders, that's right. We do not want to make our base near spiders because they will come and fuck with us all night. So we need to get away from there. Let's just... We're not actually making a base yet, so it doesn't really matter. Though I would like to set up my science machine. Actually, Oh, there's a rock! Okay, I'm gonna put my fire near all of this shit because we can get some shit done overnight like last time. So as soon as the sun goes down... On, and then put the fire down here. Perfect. Alright. So we're going to take this, these berries. I might set up base here. I haven't decided yet, so I'm going to leave that berry bush there. Because I think we do, in this build, need to fertilize them, which is something new to me. But I'm actually going to dig up all this grass. 
because I will feed it to the science machine. Though if I do make a base here, I'm going to put grass here anyway, but it doesn't really matter. Grass is easy to find. We can just spend days wandering around digging up every grass we see and pretty quickly have a really substantial farm of it. But grass is maybe the most important resource uh, in the game because it allows you to make like sleeping bags that let you skip the night, which is really useful later on. Stuff like that. It's good stuff. So anyway, we're going to cook all of our food again. What I usually end up doing is having a big stack of berries at all times, so that if I want to go on an impromptu, like, expedition, I just have, like, a humongous stack of berries on my person at all times, and I can just be gone for days and not starve to death. So that's probably what we're going to end up doing here. Berries are, like, the most plentiful food, so I'll just keep a stack of those. And everything else I will eat to try to conserve inventory space. I should, probably should have eaten these seeds as well, but that's okay. We'll eat those later. It's only one stack. Um, and again, like, see, the fact that I have 16 berry bushes on me is exactly why we need to start doing science. I can make a science machine right now, actually. You know what, let's do it. Later on I can make a hammer. It's not even a big deal. Like, the materials that go into a science machine are pretty, um, trivial in the grand scheme of things. So I'm going to research these saplings, and that should allow me to uh, start unlocking the boards and chests. And that's going to be the first thing I rush, like I said earlier, because that will be very handy for us. So I'm going to just feed all these things. We don't really need a renewable source of grass or twigs yet. It's a good thing to have in the future, but right now much more important to free up some inventory space. So we can refine... Well, we can unlock the board refination and the chests. Awesome. Did it all in one. Okay. So today, two goals. Get a lot of wood. Oops. So I'm basically, every time I see a big tree, I'm just going to cut it down with my hatchet here. And second goal is find some more goddamn rocks so that we can make a fire pit tomorrow because that is a, a pressing concern for sure. But I should also really go pick those berries, because having a, a source of, of food is always important. It's good to keep up with that stuff if at all possible. So I'll go dig these berry bushes up, because I might as well if I'm going to pick them. And that will give me the requisite uh, resources to build my own berry farm later on. You'll notice I did not feed the berry bushes to the science machine, because they're a little bit more rare and a little bit more important than the other resources we were dealing with. I might as well pick up this flint. There's a forest over there. We're going to cut down this tree and then we'll keep on skirting it because I really, really, really want to find some more uh, rocks. And if I can't, if I can find like rabbits next to rocks, that would be ideal. If I could find like a quarry that's surrounded by uh, rabbits. That would be the best, but we'll see. I, setting up an ideal base, I think, is maybe overrated. It's not a huge deal, especially, like, you want to be near rabbits, but that's basically it. Ra if you're near rabbits, you can bring almost everything else to you except for rocks, and rocks, you can go on an expedition to get to them without too much fuss. Okay, we've reached the edge of the map here. Where are my rocks? Come on. And I know I'm missing a lot of resources. That's just kind of the name of the game here. you got to... There's a lot of things you're going to miss when you're playing Don't Starve, because otherwise you're going to spend all day, like I've spent these three days, like, getting nothing. Yeah, we're going to start ignoring berry bushes, because now I, oh man, I might actually drop that berry bush that we have, because three stacks of berry bushes is excessive, I would say. So we're just going to start ignoring berry bushes, no need to go over and pick them. Where are the rocks? Come on. <laughs> well, what we'll probably end up doing... Oops, that's not what I mean to do. I just want to get rid of that. What we'll probably end up doing is going on to another island entirely for rocks. Well, hopefully we have enough for one chest. I think we do, but I'm not sure. Let's try to... Just while we're here, put a little pass on this guy. Oh, we missed him. Wow, that surprises me. I thought we got him for sure. Hmm. I think this is going to be the last day of Don't Starve. Like, tomorrow at dawn, 
well, in this episode, make it a three day, three a day, or uh, three days an episode series, seems about right, half an hour. It's good, I, I like a series like that that have really logical episode endpoints, so I don't feel bad about ending an episode, we can just say three days and that's, that's it, that's the episode, it's all you get. God damn it, where are the rocks, where are the other islands, this is really bizarre, like, we should have, by now, for how far we've been tracing, we should have probably found a bridge by now, but... Guess not. We're gonna spend all day and not find another rock. <laughs> this is insane. I've never had this much trouble finding rocks before. Maybe they made rocks a little bit rarer to make the beginning of the game a little bit more difficult. A little bit more difficult to find your bearings and get a nice setup going on. Let's definitely use. Would have gone for that rabbit. It would take too long. We're almost out of time now, and I definitely don't want to go another day without setting up a permanent base. But we might just have to. Not gonna fuck with the bees for obvious reasons. Maybe not fully obvious, but there are a number of reasons not to fuck with bees in Don't Starve. Come on. Wait, let me look at my map here. Yeah, wow, that is weird. Usually there are several, like, islands coming off, but we've almost circled the entire world here without finding... There's an island over there. You can see it in the top right, so there should be a way over there very soon. I just straight up didn't give a fuck about that flint. But that's okay. We have 23 flint, which is pretty substantial. Okay, here we go. We found a bridge to another island. Hopefully this one contains some fucking rocks. But at this point, we've pretty much cleared out that first island, so there's no real reason to uh, make our permanent base there. It's good to, at least at the start, have some stuff to explore around your base. So we might as well make it over here. But hopefully we can find a quarry soon. But pretty soon we're going to have to make camp. Hopefully I can make camp next to a bunch of rocks. Oh, this is perfect. Okay. So we've got a rock area next to a forest area. It's good times. Alright, so really quickly, we want to get... Oh, never mind. Oh, it's the tiniest rock area of all time. Oh, man. Do we have... We only have eight rocks and we need twelve. Damn it. Oh, well. That's alright. So we're going to be homeless for another night. That's okay. Oh, we found a graveyard, which is interesting. Not something we want to fuck around with at night, I don't think. But in the morning, we can go over there. And if I remember, anyway, in the next episode, we can dig up some graves and get a lot of research points out of that. There's another rock! Oh my god, okay, we're gonna have to make... Okay, well... No, we're gonna have to make a fire. And then, seconds later, we're gonna get enough rocks, probably, to make a fire pit. But we'll do that tomorrow. And in the meantime, lots of trees to chop down, so no problems there. We have something to do all night. Broke my axe there, so I'll just make a new one. I'm kind of I'm straying outside of the realm of my fire kind of a lot. Shut up, I know you're hungry. We we got to do this before the light from the fire dwindles too much and we get attacked while we're out here. I'm hoping to just get this one more tree and then we can cook, eat, and uh, we're probably not going to make any uh, chests yet, unfortunately, because chests are stationary, so obviously we want to establish a base before... Doing that. Where's my log? Oh, my log, motherfucker. Oh, well. That's okay. Um, so, here we are. Might as well dig this up as well while we're here. Oh, yeah, that's good. Uh, oh, did I just plant it? Damn it. <laughs> it was a total waste of, uh, like, uh, shovel charge. But we're gonna cook some berries. Are these not stack? Good, okay. I was thinking for a second they had changed the stack size on berries. I think it's 50, which is a pretty generous amount of food to be able to carry around on your person. So we'll just eat up there to get back to full. And... It's morning. Alright, so, 
thank you guys for watching another episode, uh, or not another episode, but the first episode of Let's Play Don't Starve. Let me know if you liked it, and let me know if you didn't, so I can stop making the series and do something else if you guys aren't enjoying it. But uh, hopefully, you know, this is one of those things that a lot of people have been requesting, so hopefully it is something that is fairly popular uh, with you fellas and ladies out there. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.